Let's just go and refresh the stats here to all dates. And you can see that I have sent a total of 238 clicks and I made a total commissions of $600 because the commissions here are $100 per sale. So I've had six sales and the earnings per click are $2.52 for each click. Hey guys, Greg Ranenka here and today I've got a full affiliate marketing tutorial for you. I'm going to show you exactly how I personally make these kind of commissions $2.52 per click and how you can start doing the same. I'm going to share with you the one secret that you need to succeed in affiliate marketing. I'm also going to give you my personal examples. I'm going to show you how to research offers to promote as well as how to drive traffic to those offers. So make sure you stick around. Don't go anywhere. Click like just below this video to help me with the YouTube algorithm and let's get into it. First, I want to share with you the only thing that you need to understand if you want to succeed in affiliate marketing or in any kind of online marketing. And this is right here. Don't worry that it actually looks simple because this is very powerful and that is that you need a targeted audience. You need to know how to generate this targeted audience in whatever niche you decide to market your, your products in or decide to be an affiliate in. You need to know how to generate this targeted audience because if you know how to generate targeted audience, the rest is simple. You can find offers that this audience will buy. This example works in any niche guys, but I want to give you an example in the dog owners niche. Let's say that you figure out how to generate an audience of 10,000 dog owners. So you manage to somehow find them on YouTube, on your website or whichever other way. And by the way, in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate this audience. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. But let's say you generate an audience of 10,000 dog owners and just 5% of them click through on some kind of an offer that you've got for them. And an example here would be perhaps uh, an offer of dog vitamins because dog owners obviously want to make sure that their dogs are happy. And out of 10,000 dog owners in general, at least 5% will click through to whatever offer you present to them because they are interested in uh, various offers. So 5% multiplied by 10,000 dog owners, that is 500 clicks that you can generate to an offer of dog vitamins. Now, if out of those 500, just 10% end up buying, that's 50 sales. And if your commission per sale is $20, you've just made $1,000 from this audience of 10,000 dog owners. Now, this works exactly the same in any niche. I'm going to give you a couple of examples in just a second. But this is what you need to understand that as long as you can generate an audience, a targeted audience in any niche, whether it's health, fitness, dog owners, aquariums, uh, cactus growing, gardening, whatever it is, as long as you've got the skills to generate this targeted audience, you will make money and you'll be successful in affiliate marketing. So I'm going to show you in this video exactly how you can generate these audiences easily. So here is example number one. If someone types in free traffic sources into Google right now, they will find all of these different websites that are ranking and they can check out this information to see how to drive traffic to their website. Now, one of the websites that is ranking is my website over here, caffeinatedblogger.com. So if someone clicks this, um, my, my website, and this is free traffic, mind you. So people type different things into Google all the time. If you manage to rank your website there, then you will be getting this ongoing traffic, ongoing views. Now I talk about a few different ways of generating free traffic. And one of the ways that I mentioned is Pinterest. And here I recommend a Pinterest tool. So I'm saying you can sign up for, uh, for Tailwind and start your free trial here. So there is my affiliate link. And when people click this affiliate link, then they go to a sign up page. So I'm just going to click this here. You'll see that it opens up via my affiliate link, via my tracking link. It opens up the sign up page. If someone signs up for Tailwind trial, I get paid. If they upgrade, I get paid. This is called content marketing. This is exactly what I'm doing. I'm getting free traffic. Uh, to many of my pages promoting a lot of different things all over the internet in a lot of different niches. I'm getting this free traffic and I'm converting it by my affiliate links into sales. Again, here is some live proof just so that you know that this actually works. I'm just going to refresh this. Okay. And you can see that for the Tailwind merchant, my stats over here from that page that I showed you are over here. Okay, I've got made a commissions of $5,470 and that's come in from 13,616 clicks. Now this page has been live for a number of years. Okay, but still for that, from that one post, that one affiliate program made $5,470. It didn't make me like hundreds of thousands, but if you, if you imagine that I've got all of these fishing rods out there, uh, fishing for traffic and 
converting, getting small amounts of traffic and converting those small amounts of traffic. You can see how powerful this can be over time. Example number two that I showed you earlier where I made 238 clicks and where I made $600 in commissions from those clicks is for the Cloudways hosting affiliate program. So this is very different. It's a hosting affiliate program. And they all came from this video, Speed Up Your WordPress website uh, that I published 11 months ago. And this video has had 20,000 views. It's still getting views on a daily basis all the time, getting more and more views. Um, but from these 20,000 people that watched it, uh, I recommended one of the resources that I recommended in there, just one of the resources, and I recommended many resources in there, right? Is this Cloudways hosting. So people ended up clicking this link. And as you can see, out of 20,000 people, 238 people ended up clicking this link. So about 1%, but that's still okay. And I've made $600 so far. That is actually in paid uh, sales. And also there's $300 in unpaid. So uh, once these are approved for payment, they will get released and they will get paid to me as well. But anyway, in already paid out sales, I've made $2.52 per click. Again, this comes down to the ability to generate these targeted audiences, guys. And that's what it's all about. I just want to make sure that you understand that as long as you have a way to generate targeted audiences, you can monetize them because you can show various things that are targeted to those audiences and you can make commissions. So your next step is to really choose which way would you like to generate these free audiences. I've given you an example of how a website can generate this free traffic. I've given you an example of how YouTube can help you generate this free traffic. Now in this video today, we're going to be focusing on the websites because I've already published a lot of videos recently on YouTube traffic generation. If you want to watch those, then just check in the description below. There's uh, plenty of links there. I'm going to put a few YouTube traffic tutorials there for you. But today we're going to be talking about how to generate these audiences using websites, very, very simple websites. So the first step of the process, guys, is for you to find your niche or niche. And what is this niche or niche? Well, this is for you to choose who are your target audiences. For example, this website's target audience is everyone who is interested in gardening and in various things that are related to gardening. If you're not sure which niche to choose, you can just Google for something like best niches for affiliate marketing in Google. There are plenty of posts containing hundreds and hundreds of niches for affiliate marketing, which you can go through. You can see this post has got various hobby niches such as photography, travel, sports, betting, casino, etc. Lifestyle niches, home and family niches. So you can just study these kind of posts, read as many of them as you need and you will find a good niche. Now I actually cover the whole process of finding an awesome niche for affiliate marketing in my free affiliate marketing uh, course, which you can access in the description below. It's a 100% free resource. It's like a full guide for how to start affiliate marketing from scratch. So you can grab that if you want. So let's say you've gone through the steps of choosing a profitable niche for your affiliate marketing website and you've decided to publish software tutorials, which by the way is a really, really awesome niche. You could publish like these tiny tutorials, how to zoom in and out uh, of the timeline in Premiere Pro, okay? And there's like a uh, 400 word article here, maybe even less, about 300 word article showing how to do that and it ranks in Google. Anyway, now the next step is for you to confirm that there are actually a lot of uh, easy keywords that exist in this niche that your website can truly rank for. And there are two ways to do this. The first one is to use this free tool called SEM Rush, which is really uh, an, an awesome tool. And you can get a free trial of SEM Rush for either seven or 14 days. SEM Rush is a premium tool. It is quite expensive. It's over a hundred dollars a month. But as I said, you can actually get a seven day free trial if you just Google for SEM Rush trial. Uh, you can get a free seven day trial or you guys can get a 14 day free trial. If you use the link in the description below, I've actually got a special deal worked out with SEM Rush, so you can use it for free uh, for 14 days. So for that, just click the link in the description below. You, If you have to cancel the trial within those 14 days, then so be it. But at least for 14 days, you'll be able to use an amazing tool and you will be able to uh, research and export a lot of the keywords that you find. Once you're inside SEM Rush, here is what to do. You'll need to go into the keyword magic tool here on the left hand side and then type in a starting keyword. So it can be something like how to flowers. So this will pull up any keywords that have got how to and flowers in them. And you can see we've got 38,793 keywords like this. So that's if you were in the gutting niche, this is what you could do. There's a whole bunch of information here, including keyword difficulty, etc. But what we want is we want to 
just pull up very easy keywords. So anything up until 29. So we're just going to put in 29 and we'll see how many keywords we get this way. So we've actually got 240 keywords that are, that are easy that have got to do with how to flowers. So obviously you can do the same thing for how to tomatoes, for example, and see how many very easy keywords for how to tomatoes there are. You'll get an indication whether this niche has got a lot of very easy keywords that you can target or not. So here we're getting hundreds upon hundreds of keywords. So clearly, for example, gardening would be a really good niche. Now going back to the example of the tech tutorials niche. So Premiere Pro is one of the software that uh, is very, very common. And it's a good idea to publish uh, tutorials on software that is very common. So here I would just do how to and then put in Premiere Pro and then let's see what we get this way. So again, this is filtered already for very easy uh, keywords. Okay, so here we've got 150 keywords that uh, have got how to Premiere Pro in them that are ranked as very, very easy. So if we sort it by keyword difficulty, we will see that there are even some keywords that have got extremely like insanely low keyword difficulty, three, nine, 10. And like, for example, this keyword here, how to zoom in on timeline Premiere Pro. Okay, keyword difficulty is 19. Uh, volume of 110 searches a month, indicative volume is actually quite a good volume because in reality, there will be so many sub variations of these searches that the real search for that generally is like 10 times or 20 times larger. So anything over 80 searches a month is actually a good keyword. Now, if we open this up just to investigate this keyword a little bit more, by the way, you guys can do all of these with a free trial. Okay. So very, very powerful. You can do all of this with a free trial. And with a free trial, what you can also do is you can export these keywords. So you can just select all of them, you find these keywords, all right, and then just export them. So click this button over here and you will be able to export them. Uh, very powerful within the trial period, research these keywords, you know, and export them. Anyway, so when you're analyzing these keywords, the other thing that I want you to pay attention to is uh, look at this SERP analysis. So the way that I got here is if you just click on any of these keywords, this will open up this uh, page where you get very detailed information on one keyword. And from here, you can actually check uh, what pages are ranking for this search term. All right. And you can see that the first one is nine to five software and page authority score is zero. So that means that this is, um, not an authoritative website. It's not an authoritative page. Um, pages with higher authority would be something like 26, 40, etc. But there are lots and lots here that are ranking with zero authority. The other thing that you should pay attention to uh, is how long the content is because Google takes two things into consideration, two main things. How long is the content? And second, how authoritative is the page? Now, if we take all of these and we just count the words and you can copy these text and insert it into a word document to count the words, check this out, guys. It's got 357 words, 357 words. That's insanely low. It means that you can produce content that's short and you can uh, rank your website that also doesn't have a lot of authority. You can rank and outrank and compete with these pages over here. So this is how these are the steps for you to confirm that the niche that you're thinking of is a good niche. If this didn't make total sense, then make sure that you go back and rewatch the steps in, in this section. Okay. If it's still not making sense, you can always grab my free affiliate marketing guide because I go into a lot more detail inside the guide. So just uh, grab it in the description below. So you might be asking here, well, what is the ultimate goal? What are we trying to build? Well, what you're trying to build is a website. Just an example here of a website is this. Here is a website dedicated to tutorials about Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, premiergal.com. It ranks for a ton of different keywords. For example, one of those keywords is how to create rolling film credits in Adobe Premiere Pro, which is this post over here. It gets a ton of traffic and a lot of people will be reading these tutorials. And look, there are affiliate offers over here. Look at this Adobe Creative Cloud special offer. Now there is a useful tutorial and a portion of the people that are reading this will be interested in a special offer in Adobe Creative Cloud. This is an affiliate link and the owner of this website will be making commissions anytime someone clicks this affiliate link and go through and buy this Adobe Creative Cloud special offer via her link. Okay. So 
Going back to the example that we talked about at the start of the video, this is exactly what this website is doing, generating targeted audience, showing them an offer that they might be interested in, certain percentage will click and certain percentage will buy it. That's all it is, it's pure maths, it's pure maths. This is why I just want to make sure that you understand how powerful this actually is. It works the same in all other niches. Check this out, how to grow tomatoes. Okay, uh, all of these websites are promoting something. They're getting the audience, they're promoting something. Tom's Guide, we open this up. Let's take a look. So first of all, they're monetizing their website with ads. So this is a great way to make money as well. And if you scroll through, there are affiliate links. Here we go. Uh, you can see today's best watering cans deals. All right, all of these are affiliate links. So a portion of people will click through, portion will buy, and this website will make money. All right, guys, the next step is for you to set up your brand and your website. And there are a couple of things to this. The first one is you need to choose a domain name. So this is going to be your website name. You can go to namecheap.com and here you will search what kind of domains you can buy. I highly recommend you buy a .com. It's got the best branding potential. And if I wanted to check if something like caffeinatedtechtips.com is available, I could check that over here on Namecheap and it'll tell me whether this domain is available or not. Here you can see that it is available. So you can go ahead and register this domain. It's a about $10 US uh, to register your website for a year. The next step that you will need is a hosting provider. Currently, I recommend two hosting providers. One of them is hostinger.com. Register a hosting account for less than $3 a month. I've also got a special deal on hostinger.com. If you guys want an extra discount, you can grab that. Just uh, uh, check out the link in the description below as well. The next one is Cloudways. So Cloudways is slightly more expensive. But if you want a faster website or if you already got several websites and you want them to be faster, you can also use cloudways.com as well. On Cloudways, I personally use the Vulture $13 a month plan on my website. But if your budget is a bit more limited, you can totally get hosting. A hosting is actually a really, really good service as well. So you need the domain name and you need the hosting account to proceed to the next step. And by the way, hosting sometimes throws in a free domain as well. So when you click the links to get started, just check, depending on which plan you're looking to buy, you may be able to register a free domain. So for example, see right now they've got free domain for the first year. Okay, so if you choose that, then you can register your domain instead of paying about $10 US to Namecheap, you can get a free domain from hostinger.com. So just follow the prompts as you're registering and you'll be able to register your domain for free if there is a current special offer like that. Next, you will need to install what's known as WordPress. WordPress is a free platform. It just allows you to basically have like a, a click and type interface for inside of your website to be able to publish your posts and manage your content. If you're not familiar with WordPress, that's completely fine. Um, you can just Google for install WordPress on Hostinger like this or install WordPress on Cloudways, depending which uh, hosting provider you decided to go with. And they've got uh, tons of support materials, both of these hosting providers for how to install WordPress uh, into the back end of your website so that you can log in and you can start posting the content, creating the content uh, that can rank in Google search. After that, you can start creating content. So to create new content, you'll need to go and a new post. A post is gonna be essentially a new page, a different page on your website. And this is where you'll start publishing the content that is targeting these keyword terms that we've searched. So remember how we were talking about researching all of these terms, hundreds and hundreds of different terms related to Premiere Pro uh, or to whatever niche you decide to go into. This is where we would take this keyword term and would actually create content that is targeted and optimized and covered, covers this topic. So here would create a new post, we would call it how to zoom in on timeline Premiere Pro. And you can go ahead and create a tutorial. Even if you don't know anything about Premiere Pro, you can learn. This is what I do with a lot of my niches and a lot of my websites. I just research this information. So I read up, I read what other people have mentioned for um, how to do this. Okay, so you would just open this up and kind of like learn how to do this. Maybe you want to grab a trial of Premiere Pro and learn yourself for how to do these things. Watch some videos and then just write out that content in your own words in here in WordPress. Once you've got all of your tutorial typed up, WordPress will actually tell you how many words you've got. And your goal is to publish tutorials that are at least as long as the average of the competing search pages. So if this is the keyword term that you're looking at, you will want to calculate how long the content on average is. So we already know that this nine to five software, that their content is 380 words roughly. 
check how long the content is from these other pages. And generally you should try to publish something that's a bit more in depth than the competing content. Why is that? Well, again, two things uh, that Google takes into consideration when ranking the content or not ranking it. The first thing is how authoritative your website is. And when your website is brand new, you have zero authority. And the second thing is the length of your content. So if your length of the content is longer than the competitors, you'll have a high chance of ranking in top 10 and getting that search traffic. Okay, so what is next? Well, you've probably noticed that this is not a get rich quick scheme. It's not something that you can instantly flip the switch and just start making money. Okay, you need to be prepared to put in some work, get 20 to 30 posts to get some initial rankings. The good thing is about this model that once you're ranking, once your website is ranking, you will be continuing to get traffic on an ongoing basis. You can take a month off, you can take a year off and your website most likely will continue making money for you. This is personally why I like this model because I'm the type of person that is prepared to do some work up front but then enjoy the passive income on an ongoing basis. Okay, so 20 to 30 posts before uh, w Google considers your website to be trustworthy and to have some kind of authority and start sending traffic to you. Uh, after that, you need to make sure that you, with every post, you target very, very low competition keywords. As we showed at the earlier parts of this video, find keywords with extremely low competition and target just them. Now, once you guys get to 50 visitors a day or so, this is when you can start applying to affiliate programs in your niche. The best way to find those affiliate programs is to see what other people in your niche are promoting. Like you will see that this website is promoting Adobe Creative Cloud uh, and therefore there must be an Adobe Creative Cloud affiliate program. So just check what other successful websites are promoting, find those affiliate programs. If I Google for Adobe Creative Cloud affiliate program, I can find it Adobe affiliate program. Just go ahead and sign up. By then you'll have a website so you can uh, enter the information when you are asked how you're going to be promoting this, you can insert the link to your website and you will be able to show exactly how you plan to generate the traffic to this affiliate program. After that, continue producing the content on low competition keywords. This is what it's all about. It's about putting up these posts that get a little bit of traffic each post, but as you put up dozens, eventually hundreds of these posts, your traffic and your website will grow and your passive income potential will grow as well. I hope you've gotten some useful information out of this video, guys. If you did or you enjoyed this, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel just below. And while you're at it, click the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you want to learn this process in a lot more detail, then grab the copy of my free affiliate marketing course. The link is in the description below. In there, I go into just a lot more detail, um, several hours worth of content on how to set everything up. Or you can watch this video over here next that will show you in a lot more detail the next logical step, which is basically finding your uh, niche for your website. It's going to explain to you in a lot more detail on how to go about this very first, very important step of your affiliate marketing journey. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Greg Kononenko. I'll see you in the next video.